pada saat uh, melahirkan itu tangan saya tetap di borgol saya akan memukul petugas saya akan lari took my clothes all pulled down their drill suddenly have some kind of a smoke i the one asking to them what is that they say it's a drugs Part-time job as an insurance agent, I recruit people to for my company. By the time I meet Amrit, Amrit is a tourist agent. He said to me, "Did you interest to tourist?" I just say, "Not quite interest." But he mentioned to me many things about the tourist, and then he recruited me a girl, is a Nandini. She also is a single mother, and then I quite interest to her. Because she was a single mother, right? We go through many problems, same like me. And then I just want to meet her. And you were interested in going somewhere else, a bit of tourism. Yes, Amrit told me have a group, tourist group at Hong Kong. They will be guide you. Also, Nandini had the Hong Kong. She will arrange for you all the scene in Hong Kong. To go around Hong Kong and yeah. see the tourist places. Yeah. Also, he mentioned to me you can. Rec uh, recruit me many people, introduce to me many people. They can help you. I came to Hong Kong at the 12th December 2018. I stayed in Princess Hotel. It's very strange, and I feel very suspicious because the time suddenly the reception didn't give the key. Have a two black guy the side. Everything is under the control that time. I didn't meet Nandini, and the many bags at the room. Did you become a little bit suspicious? I asked too many questions to Amrit, and then everything Amrit explained to me very detailed. The detail already, I, I already believe that Amrit. I asked him all the things, what's going on, why I didn't meet Nandini here, if a black guy here. He introduced me someone, Jackie, a black guy. He says uh, Jackie was a tourist agent at Hong Kong. He's the partner. I just stay at Hong Kong one day. They already booking for me Cambodia trip. And how long did you spend in Cambodia? Three days. I just see sightseeing, enjoy shopping. I didn't have any suspicions on that, that time because what the question I asking they already giving the answer. They have a forty three people at Cambodia. I meet them. They say we, they will be arranged the all tour. Okay, we are just enjoy the tour. Really, it didn't it didn't any question you know that time. I just believe. Did you, in fact, meet any meet the forty three people? Yeah, I met them. There really were forty three people. Yes. Did you pay for all this, or were they doing it free? No, I pay for it myself. At Cambodia, I pay use my own money. I have all the receipt wherever I go, what I buy, I keep my receipt. Suddenly, Amrit called me. He asked me a favor. Can you took a bag from my friend? And then I say, what kind of the bag? Why didn't post by yourself or send by DHL? And then he say no because it's not a safe. It's very unique. I check the bag trolley, take some kind of a tool. I do by myself. I didn't go find anything. It's very typical. They put the drugs inside the three layer under. Then finally, I just say okay, it's a favor, right? Okay, I finally say okay, I will bring the bag. When I get Cambodia airport, I ask to the custom department check two time. And nothing showed up in the scan. Nothing, nothing. And yes. what happened when you arrived at Hong Kong airport? I'm already left from the immigrations. Suddenly, the custom department come and surrounding me. They say I want, they want to check my bag. I say it's okay, sir, no problem. They took my clothes all pulled down. They are drilling the bag. Suddenly, I have some kind of a smoke. I the one asking to them, what is that? They say it's a drugs. I'm already black out that time. I don't know what I want to do. I just tr trust the God that time. datang untuk berlibur 
It was this man who arranged your trip, was it? Iya yeah, benar. Dia adalah orang kebangsaan Nepal. Dia datang ke tempat saya meminta pertolongan kepada saya untuk uh, dibelikan beberapa pakaian karena dia berkata kepada saya dia mempunyai toko atau uh, bisnis di Hong Kong dan memerlukan ada beberapa pakaian seperti selimut, kain untuk dijual kembali lalu dia datang ke Indonesia untuk membeli barang-barang tradisional untuk dijual di Hong Kong and he asked you to go to Laos was it? Ya, sebelumnya saya nggak tahu kalau dia akan uh, mengirim kami ke Laos. He asked you to bring something back to Hong Kong. Ya, dia memberikan saya sebuah koper lalu datang ke Hong Kong. Must have been terrible, terrible being away from your family like that. It's very hard to see. As a single mother, you know, I just want to know my kids is happy, safe. Getting message from them, I just cry. I cannot do anything. The strength I want to keep because of my kids. This past two and a half years, I go through many pain, you know. Saya hanya berpikir pada saat itu, Tuhan itu baik, Tuhan itu adil. Saya pasti akan keluar. Itu yang membuat saya bisa bertahan. Selama dua tahun di Thailand. And there's one interesting thing I nearly forgot. Of course, you had a baby in prison. Yes. Can I ask, when you gave birth, was your hand handcuffed to the railing? Uh, melahirkan itu tangan saya tetap di borgol karena untuk keamanan. Jadi mereka takut saya akan memukul petugas, saya akan lari. Padahal itu sangat tidak mungkin akan saya lakukan dalam keadaan saya sedang sakit, kesakitan akan melahirkan, tapi mereka tetap memborgol saya. Fortunately, you were able to get bail, that right? Yeah, when I am come out from bail, right? I have a time to my legal aid team. I find out many evidence. I go through my bundle every day. I find out the each and every single mistake. Since I came to the Hong Kong, I go to Cambodia, I come back to Hong Kong, every single receipt I keep on my handbag, in my bag, have a all proof. Why did the judge release you? What, why did she say no case? Pada saat itu, penuntut saya tidak menemukan bukti yang dapat memberatkan kasus saya atau menunjukkan kepada juri bahwa saya ini bersalah. Don't trust anyone. Trust yourself. Saya minta kalian berhati-hati untuk orang yang meminta tolong kepada kalian, meminta tolong dari segi mengambil uh, paket, minta tolong diambilkan barang, minta tolong diantarkan barang. Saya mohon untuk berhati-hati karena pada saat ini mereka tidak peduli Anda mempunyai keluarga atau Anda siapa, mereka tidak peduli bahkan ke jika anda adalah pacar atau istri mereka tidak peduli before you do think money is not the importance your family is a big big value for you this is your life you know i know you want to help this is the favor think say no 